hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica. Welcome in. So I have so many favorites. I've got quite a few fails, like kind of meh products I think maybe you should avoid. I have a couple of jewelry items I got on Amazon and Target. I have some clothing. I've got skincare, makeup, hair care. It's quite a mix. Let's dive in. Let's start with these earrings. This is one of my favorites this month. I have been wearing these a lot the past really few months. I got them on Amazon and I just love how thick they are. You guys know I love hoop earrings. I have for years. It's so funny. I had like a time hop, whatever that's called. What is time hop from? Facebook or Instagram? I don't even know. Anyway, but it was like my memories from years ago and like six years ago I was wearing my big old hoops. I'm like, dang, like I've been loving those for a hot minute. I love these really thick ones and they're big but they're not as big as like some of my thinner ones I have and they feel like really well made and I have just been loving these. So I wanted to give them a shout out because I do get a lot of questions from you guys about where I got them from. Okay, another favorite I'm not wearing but I might as well be is this bracelet set. If you saw my recent Target haul, I talked about these and it was from the brand Wild Fable. My like biggest jewelry inspo is Leanne Says here on YouTube. She's one of my favorites, she's one of my YouTube friends and I literally anytime I see her wearing jewelry, I'm like, well, I'm gonna need that. So I have purchased so many things because she was wearing something similar or she linked the exact one and I was like, done. She was the one that kind of got me into wearing like bracelets again. I hadn't worn them in a while. And these are these stretchy ones I bought from Target, like I said, and it comes with these kind of fun colored ones too, but I'm typically just wearing these. And I love that these ones are stretchy. They're just cute. They're really cute together. It's got kind of a mix of different things. And then I have other bracelets I have like that I bought on Amazon I kind of mix and match with, but I just think they're so cute. I'm sure they won't last forever, but I think they're around like 10 bucks, which is pretty on par with like what I've spent on Amazon too. And I just really like them. So I wanted to chat about those cause I've been wearing them a lot. Another thing I've gotten a lot of questions about is where I got this three quarter zip like long sleeve sweater, sweatshirt, whatever. Old Navy, I can link it below. It was, I'm sure I got it on sale, although isn't Old Navy like always having a sale? I was just on there the other day finding a link and it was like 50% off everything. I'm like, they are just, everything's always on sale. I would never, ever, ever buy anything full price at Old Navy because you don't need to, you know? This I love, it's kind of a thinner, more lightweight sweatshirt material. This is not cropped, but it's also not like long. So it's kind of just hits right at the uh, hip. And so it's just something to keep in mind if you feel like you don't like things that are a little bit shorter. Like I said, it's not cropped. It's not gonna show your stomach or anything, but it's just something to keep in mind. And I love the blue camo. I just think it's kind of unique and cute. And like I said, I wore it in a video or two. I don't know if it was vlogs or what, but so many of you guys asked. That's where I got it, Old Navy. I will link it below. It's a weird mix. I was just eating like these avocado crisp things, like chips, if you will, crackers. And uh, that taste with black coffee is a really weird, gross combo. That's all. So hair care favorite that I have just been loving. My hair is freshly washed. And does anyone else feel like when your hair is freshly washed, it never looks as good as like second day hair. Like when you've dry shampooed, especially for me, I have like kind of naturally oilier hair. Like it gets oily really fast. So I've really been enjoying this Ava NYC Main Magic primer. So I use this as a detangler. I think this is going to be ideal for you if you're someone that has drier hair. I think if you have oilier hair like me, I've been enjoying it, but you definitely have to, like I have to avoid spraying this up in my scalp region, like period. If I get any of my scalp, my hair is going to be so oily day one. But I love spraying this on wet hair and then combing through any tangles. I feel like it detangles. It leaves my hair nice and soft and it smells really nice. All of the Ava NYC products I've ever personally tried smell so good. And I read one of your guys' comments that said that you agree you love the smell of Ava NYC hair products and you wish they sold a perfume. And I'm like, yes, like I would love this perfume because it smells so good. I also love the Shea Moisture Detangler. That one I think is better if you have super oily hair and that one I can easily spray in my scalp and not really worry about it. And the sprayer nozzle on this is incredible, look. Oh baby, that was a good one. So a lip favorite is from the drugstore. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This is a new line they launched this year. And this particular shade is my favorite. It's what I'm wearing. It's called Moon. And it's just really pretty. It is a total dupe for the Fenty Gloss Bomb in Fussy, which is my favorite shade of the Fenty Gloss Bomb. 
very comfortable to wear. It's not sticky at all. It smells really nice. It kind of smells like just kind of sweet, like kind of vanilla-y, but not over overly so, I don't think. I think the packaging is really pretty. So this is my favorite shade and it's just so comfortable to wear. It's kind of got that glittery look to it without it being like crunchy glitter, you know what I mean? So another favorite, and this, I have you guys to thank for this, is the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleaners. I used to use a daily brush cleanser, like daily, <laughs> and this was like years ago, back when I lived with my parents when I was first starting my channel, and so every time I would use a brush, especially if I was using it with like a cream or liquid product, like foundation, whatever, I would spray the brush and kind of wipe it off on like a washcloth I had for makeup purposes, and my brushes would just stay cleaner for longer, and then of course I would still deep clean for from time to time, obviously. Well, I hadn't done that in years. And I was like, does anyone still sell a daily brush cleanser? And so many of you guys were like, Elf does. And then I found one in my drawer, unopened. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is great. And so it's I've especially been using it with my concealer brush because I use that every day. And you know, I wish I had the time to wash my brushes every week or every other week, uh, doesn't happen. So at least with this, once I'm done using it, I'll spray it a couple times. I'll kind of wipe the brush off. And by the next day, it feels brand new. Like it doesn't feel all gross and like clumpy and stuck together like it would if I had just left it. And so I've been loving this. So I would totally, I'm going to repurchase this. You can also use like some kind of alcohol, uh, which I've used before too, and just put it in a spray bottle. But this I think is a little bit gentler and it smells a little bit better, you know, because I'm the kind of person that I let my brushes go on a little too long before washing. I'm just being honest. Another product I've been loving, and I was going back through my past few monthly favorites and fails videos, which I have a playlist if you wanna binge watch some of them. I thought for sure, because I've been loving this for a while, I had mentioned it, and I haven't mentioned it. I've mentioned it, I think, in other videos. But it's this Physician's Formula Eye Booster Liquid Liner, specifically the waterproof. First off, I love the like, plastic water droplets all over this. It just is so pretty. I don't know what, what it is about it that I love, but I just do. This is amazing. I'm wearing it today. I've worn it pretty much every single day for the past month or two. It's so good. And I had originally tried the Eye Booster Liner non-waterproof and I just didn't like it. I didn't feel like it was black enough. I didn't feel like it stayed well. This is in blackest black. Uh, the one thing I will say is you have to be careful when you're putting the lid on it because this is a brush tip and not a felt tip. Sometimes the like little brush hairs will pop out. I'll usually just take like cuticle scissors and cut them off real fast. And then I don't have the issue, but it is something to be aware of. But I think this is incredible. It stays really well, it's super black. I can get a little mini wing like I typically do on my eyes and it's awesome. Going to repurchase for sure. Now, on the other end of the price spectrum, a mascara I am really enjoying is this Hourglass Unlocked mascara. It's what I'm wearing today. It is a tubing mascara, which is good and bad. It's good in that it does not flake. Like if you are someone that has problems with flaking, tubing mascaras are gonna be the answer for you because they do not flake off at all. They coat your lashes in like a tube. And what's nice is that if you have warm water, you it will come off with warm water. Like you don't even need makeup remover. Now for me, I still use makeup remover, but you really do have to have warm water to get this off because even with my like oil-based makeup removers I use, it's not it doesn't come off with that. So just something to keep in mind. For me, it kind of drives me nuts only because it takes a while for my water to get warm up here, you know? So it's just something, but it's so nice. It holds a curl all day long. Like the way my lashes look right now is the way they looked right when I applied it and it was the way they will look when I take it off tonight. Like it does not change. So I love that for that reason. It doesn't budge. It holds a curl. It's super volumizing. So I, I will probably repurchase this eventually. I have so many mascaras I love, especially at the drugstore too, but I really do like it. I'll probably... I could see myself repurchasing this when like Sephora has their next sale. Another product I've really been enjoying is from Wander Beauty. It's their Mist Connection Essence and Toner. So you shake it up and you just spray it on. And I've been using this lately because I really don't use essences in my routine and I really don't use a toner like during my daytime routine, but I've been wanting to. And this has made it kind of easy for me to use both because it's a two in one. I can just spray it on the first thing on my face in the morning. Then I go in with a serum and SPF and moisturizer and stuff. But I've really been enjoying it. If you have super oily skin, I don't think you'll like it because there's definitely some oils in this, camellia seed oil, that uh, will make your skin super moisturized, which I like, and it also has niacinamide in it too. But if you have oily skin already, I don't think you'd like this. So I would say normal to dry skin only, but I've really been enjoying it. This is gonna last forever because a little bit goes a long way and this sprayer is really, really 
fine and really nice. So I've been enjoying this so much. It definitely has a scent though, kind of an herbally scent. So if you don't like that or you're sensitive to it, you might stay away. Here's something that I think is breaking me out to a certain extent. Bear with me here. This is from Physicians Formula. It's their Perfect Matcha 3-in-1 Melting Cleansing Balm. Now, I love cleansing balms and oils. This is doing a great job removing my makeup, and I really appreciate that there's not like a strong scent or anything with this. Two cons though. One, I run through these so quickly. Like this is probably only gonna last me in total three weeks. And I'm like, that's crazy. Like. Once I start breaking that down, and that's just because of how much I use, but it's kind of how much I have to use to make sure it's removing my makeup. So that is one thing that if I started really looking at the price and how quickly I'm using it up, I might as well be buying a high-end one because that, you know what I'm saying? The only thing I've switched up in my skincare routine since I started kind of getting some breakouts in the center of my forehead was this. And I'm like, is it that it's not removing my makeup well enough? Like, is it leaving behind a residue? I don't know that it would though, because I double cleanse and I use this and then I go in with the, the cleanser I've been using for years from CeraVe. So I don't know, I don't know. Could a cleansing balm really break you out? But it's kind of one of those things that I'm like, uh. so I'm gonna use it up. Would I repurchase? Maybe not just because I don't want to risk any more breakouts. I'll have to keep you posted. My skin's been clearing up and I'm still using this. So then I'm, I'm obviously kind of talking this out right now with myself. I don't know. Now that I'm saying it, now I'm wondering, is it the Wander Beauty stuff? But I was using this for quite a few weeks before starting to use that. So I feel like I would have seen breakouts sooner. Anyway. Okay, favorite YouTube channel I've been loving lately is Sam. I don't know how to say her last name. It starts with an O. I think it's Ozcarol. Oscarol, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it, but I discovered her, I don't even remember how. It was a few months ago and I subscribed instantly because she just does like vlogs and lifestyle-y type videos. She just had a baby, so it's always just kind of exciting to see people in that stage of their life go through that. And at least it is for me, I'm sure it's not for everyone, but I just really like her. She talks about makeup and skincare a little bit, but she really just does lifestyle-y vlogs. She'll do what I eat in a days, and it's just a bright, happy channel for me. And she still, she seems like such a chill personality and her husband's so sweet too. And of course her new baby is so cute. So if you're kind of looking for more vloggy style videos, definitely check her out. I think you'd like her. Show that we've been loving, we just finished Shits Creek, the final season. We really, really like that show. We just do, it's funny, it's heartwarming, it's made me cry, it's made me belly laugh. You just fall in love with the characters as ridiculous as some of them are. And I just, it's such a sweet, hometown show oh my gosh and i just i can't believe how much i ended up falling in love with it there's a reason it swept at the emmys it is a great show i think it does take about halfway through season one to kind of get into it because at first you're going to be like what's going on with this one lady's accent like what is this what's with her wigs what's with but just give it time it's amazing the book i really really loved this month that i read was eleanor oliphant is completely fine wow that book took some like twists and turns that i did not expect especially like literally in the last few pages it's just a good book like to the point where i was like I kind of want a sequel. Like, I want more. I was sad to be done with it. There's something about this character that's just so, it's told from her point of view and it's just so interesting. It's, I can't explain it, but it's about this woman who's gone through some trauma in her life and in her past and you don't really find out exactly what that is until the end, really. And um, about how she kind of, navigates through her life and how kind of bizarre she is and you hear her train of thought and it's just so interesting and yeah i just i don't want to say anything else because you just have to read it but there are, it's funny and it's lighthearted and cute but it's also there are parts of it that are really really dark and deep and profound and so i it just kind of had it all and it it's a really interesting main character too so i really liked it i like really 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 liked it i don't know if they're planning on making a movie or a tv show or anything out of it i have never looked it up but i would totally be on board to watch that so i think that's everything i was trying to think of like a song or music i've been listening to a lot lately i was really on that taylor swift folklore kick for a while now i really haven't like latched on to anything this month so i don't have a lot to say by way of that. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'd love if you subscribed and joined our happy little corner of the internet. I upload three videos a week, lifestyle, vlogs, beauty, all of it, just whatever you want. I probably have a video on, I don't know. I'd also love to say hey to you on my Instagram. It is at it's Jessica Braun and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.